starts to be getting colder. Yet, it is 95 degrees outside. What the hell? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, I decided to do this makeup look for you. It is over the top, it is crazy, and you definitely need to know where you're going before you just slap this on your face and go to the grocery store. If you want to go out with your girls and just rock this blue eye, just... Just do it, girl. No one's judging you. I'm loving these blue colors for fall. I haven't really seen any, like, blue cut crease smoky eyes lately. And, I mean, I would wear this if it was, like, snowing. Like, you'd be, like, a nice princess or something. Yeah? No? Alright. Also, just a side note, if anybody knows of, like, a good ring light or something, like, artificial lighting I could use, um, please let me know in the comments below because I am having the darndest time trying to like fit in all my makeup looks while I still have light. Apartment face is like the west so I really only have good lighting from like 2 to 4 and if I don't get it done my lighting just goes away so if you guys know of any like lighting I could look up let me know because mama needs some good lighting here. So if you guys want to know how I got this look just keep watching and hopefully I will see you soon. Bye! Hey guys, hope everyone's doing good. So I'm first going to be starting off with this Hot Pot by Coastal Scents, um, and it is called Periwinkle. And I'm just going to be dusting that along my crease area and a little bit above it just to make a really nice transition shade. Then I'm going to be taking the color Orchard and I'm just going to be putting that right below my crease area just so we get a nice purple and blue gradient going. I'm also taking that same color and I'm going to start carving out um, the cut crease that I want. I'm just going to be putting that color right in my crease and winging it out. taking this really pretty dark blue color called Queen's Jubilee. I am taking an angled brush and I am going to start deepening up my crease area. You're really going to want to make this, whoa I got a little British there for a second. You're really going to want to make this um, dramatic but we will go in and blend it out. You guys can repeat that process just to make it blended and then make it more dramatic and make it blended again. If that makes any sense at all. taking the shade Cornflower Blue and I am going to be packing this on my lid. When you guys are doing this, you really want to make sure that you keep it below your crease area. We don't want those two colors to blend very much because it's a cut crease. So when applying this, really keep it right below that line you created. Then, like always, I'm just going to be creating a normal wing, and I am taking the NYC Liquid Liner to do this. Then, for mascara, I am just taking the L'Oreal Voluminous Curved Brush Mascara. You may use any mascara that is your favorite. And then if you would like, you can apply false lashes, but I just decided not to. I went ahead and did my foundation off camera, so I'm just going to skip to my lower lash line. As you can see, I took an angled brush in the same color I used in my crease, and I lightly flicked it out on my inner corner just to make it look a little bit more dramatic. You really want to make sure your two eyes look symmetrical when doing this, so when you're doing it, just make sure they look relatively the same. 
Then I just took that blue color that I put on my lid and put it right on my inner corner right above my little flick. I'm just making sure that everything looks put together and seamlessly blended. Then for lips, I'm taking this ColourPop liquid lipstick in the color Trap and I am just applying that to my lips. So that completes this look. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope I was able to explain it well enough for you. Um, it is kind of difficult but it's totally doable as long as you have faith in yourself, girl. So hopefully I see you guys soon and I will see you in my next video. Bye!